His death is making headlines, and tonight family and friends are remembering the life of Joaquin Rivera. Rivera died in an ER waiting room, waiting room at a Philadelphia hospital last Saturday. As he lay unconscious, thieves stole his watch. Well, Rivera was uh, viewed tonight in northeast Philadelphia, but earlier in the day, I-Team reporter Walt Hunter confronted one of the suspects accused of robbing the dying man. What do you say to his family? I said, I'm sorry. Yeah, Suspect Martin Smith told me he was sorry. Sorry that, as seen on this surveillance tape, he allegedly stole this watch from the wrist of 63-year-old Joaquin Rivera. As Rivera sat unresponsive and perhaps dead, waiting for medical care in the emergency room at Aria Health's Frankfurt Hospital. Why did you do this, sir? I don't know. I was just trying to steal, I guess. I didn't know the man was dying. Smith was caught here in the 5100 block of Penn Street after police say he sold the watch for $20. But Detective Bob Kilman and his partner tracked down the watch that Mr. Rivera had worn every day, recovering it and making sure it gets back to his family. It's horrifying, and uh, I, I hope this helps a little bit. I'm happy that we are able to have my father's watch back. It's, you know, just a little part of him that we'll be able to keep. Beyond allegedly stealing the watch, records show Smith has a lot more to be sorry for. A 22-year criminal record with 19 arrests and two state prison terms. And as for his apology, Joaquin Rivera Jr., as he prepares for his father's funeral, says he will accept it. At least he's sending us his apologies. I mean, it's... It's a small step, but at least it's a step to at least he knows he was wrong. As the Rivera family makes its way through some of the toughest hours and days of their lives, the suspect in this case, Mr. Smith, won't be going anywhere. Following two decades of crime, he's now held in $100,000 bail inside a Philadelphia prison cell. At Northeast Detective Division, I'm Walt Hunter, CBS3 Eyewitness News.